Hi, I'm Eric Paulson. I oversee the Chemical and Biophysical Instrumentation Center at Yale, and I'd like to show you some demonstrations of magnetism. For this, I'm going to use our largest magnet, which is for our 800 megahertz NMR spectrometer. It is a superconducting electromagnet where the main coil is at 4.2 degrees above absolute zero, and the main magnetic field is 18.74 Tesla. Okay, now I'm under the magnet, which is an extremely powerful magnet, and it's most powerful right here, which is in the bore of the magnet. First, I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, the principle of ferromagnetic attraction, which is what most of you will be most familiar with in terms of magnets. That's where one magnet is strongly attracted to another. So I have here a standard paper clip, and because I'm in a strong magnetic field, it wants to get pulled into the bore of the magnet up there. So I've attached the paper clip to a string, and you can see that the paper clip is very powerfully attracted into the bore of the magnet. I would not want to use a larger object than this because it would be too powerful and it would suck it out of my hands and I wouldn't be able to remove it. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you a completely different phenomenon related to magnetism, which is magnetic induction. So I have here an aluminum plate. This aluminum plate is not magnetic in the sense that it gets sucked into the magnetic field. There's no attraction into the magnetic field. However, it is a very good conductor and when I move it up close to the bore of the magnet, the magnetic field will go through the plate and it will induce a current around the perimeter of the plate. And that current will cause its own magnetic field that will cause it to oppose any movement, either pushing it in or pulling it away from the bore of the magnet. So if I push it up near the bore of the magnet and I let go, it's going to be opposed by the force of the magnet as gravity tries to pull it down. Now you can see that this is different than magnetic attraction because if I turn it like this, now there will not be very much magnetic field going through the plate and there won't be much chance for current to go around. And so if I drop it like this, it will drop quickly. But again like this, it will drop slowly.